Hi, I'm Gabby Hinsliff. I'm a journalist at The Guardian and an author, and I'm really excited to have been asked to write the introduction to the first ever ebook edition of Betty Friedan's The Feminine Mystique. I say excited, also mildly terrified, because this is a book that holds a really special place in, in people's hearts. It's a feminist classic that every woman should read, that you want to talk about afterwards once you've read it. And when it was first published in 1963, it started a movement. It really did change women's lives. It was the book that told women it was okay to want more from life than mopping the floor and running around after your family and wondering what happened to the person you used to be. In fact, it was more than okay. It was liberating. I probably first read it years ago in the sort of sleep deprived fog of being a new mother probably trying to remind myself what I was worth sticking it out at work why I needed an identity of my own as well but when I came back to read it again this year at the beginning of the lockdown I got something different from it and I think that's probably the hallmark of a classic that you find something new in it each time you read it and that new generations can can find new things too and this time round I realised that it wasn't just a, a story of female liberation. Hidden inside it, there was another story that felt very contemporary to me about how easily progress can be reversed. And I just want to read you a tiny bit from the introduction that I ended up writing. It was as if the clocks had gone back overnight. In the spring of 2020, the unprecedented demands of a global pandemic forced millions of Britons to retreat almost entirely from life outside the home. Confined to four walls, the lucky ones were kept busy in lockdown by learning to make bread or using the time to redecorate. But for many women, this was a dark few months. Victims of domestic violence were trapped inside with their abusers, mental health suffered, and at a stroke the rug was pulled out from under millions of parents. No childcare, no school, no help from grandparents. There were few logical reasons why the responsibility for homeschooling children and keeping the household together while simultaneously trying to get your own paid work done should have fallen more heavily on women than men. But we know it did. This new burden settled like snow, falling silently and suddenly overnight. And by the time many women woke up to what was happening, the snowdrifts were banked hard against the windows. The speed with which many couples slid back into traditionally gendered roles during lockdown was a warning sign, a reminder that progress can always be reversed. And it suggests some vestigial trace of the feminine mystique, the name Frieden coined for the myth that a woman's true destiny lies in nurturing children, a marriage and a home, while men's lies in paid work, still lingers on today. The insidious guilt tugging at many working mothers, even now the fear that something nameless but important is slipping through our fingers, is arguably a hangover from the culture Frieden describes. Betty Frieden gave her readers the language to describe what was happening to them and the building blocks to change it. And she has lessons still to teach us now. I'm really pleased to have played a small part in sharing her book 100 years after she was born. I hope you find there's something in it too. Thank you.